Looking at this shoe should almost be like a timeline of the Air Jordans that Michael wore when he won the championships. So I distinctly remember those runs and watching the Bulls and Michael Jordan before they won those championships. In a way, this project was a microcosm of that. To be asked to combine six shoes into one seems a bit absurd. It's almost being asked to combine six songs that are epic tracks on their own in a way that doesn't do a disservice to the magic of each of those tracks. In a way, I see myself and the team as DJs where they can stand on the shoulders of what's in the past, but put their own spin and twist on it to help people hear those tracks in a new way. The initial approach to the project involved a lot of sketching. I would review the concepts with the team and it just wasn't quite hitting. And I eventually went from a sketching approach to a hands-on approach. Cutting these championship shoes apart and cobbling them together unlocked something that I had theorized in the past that all of these shoes were actually more related to each other than one might think. On the Air Jordan 6, there's a feature on the collar. On the Air Jordan 7, that same collar piece, if you cut out the center part, the Air Jordan 6 component fits almost perfectly. Another example being the Air Jordan 11 and the 12. If you look at some of the ribs of the traction, the thicknesses are very similar. So the moment I put them together, back to that music analogy, it's almost like the tracks have the same beats per minute. There is definitely a lot of back and forth from the whole team collectively to bring it to an even better place. Looking at the heel, some of the feedback I received was, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's refine it. At first, my response was, ah, but that's my favorite part. And the reason for that feedback was key because if you're wearing a shoe seven days a week, you might be wearing a shoe in certain scenarios where you need something more elegant and refined. And so not too dissimilar from one year, Michael Jordan had to trust Steve Kerr to make the winning shot. Learning to really trust each other as a design team and a product creation team, I thought that was a key to the success of this project. Living in Illinois through that whole time, got to watch firsthand, finally getting over that hump, the bad boys of Detroit. Going on these incredible runs, they inspired the whole city. The number one objective of DJ is to get people up and dancing. So as a designer, I think it's not just throwing championship shoes together. I think a key for me and the team was to make sure to blend these tracks in a way that will bring excitement to the people that wear them.